Hi, Coach. Tough Hi. loss. Um, thinking back to uh, practice last week, you were th talking about how you wanted more aggression attacking in the final third. Uh, the end of the game uh, was qu quite urgent. It seemed like you guys were putting things together. Were you happy with uh, with how things kind of ended there, even though you didn't win the game? No. <laughs> um, I think, obviously, a little bit of a crazy game. Need to reflect on it a little bit and, and go back and watch it. But that's football. It happens. Um, we just have to be way more ruthless in the box. We created chances. I think we dominated the second half. I think it took us way too long to get into the game. I think... 34 minutes before we really started to play. I don't think you saw the real us in the first 34 minutes. Um, but I do think you saw glimpses of what's to come in the second half. Um, we were much, much better. Um, and proud of them for the reaction at halftime. I think, again, just missing that final piece. Um, it's the first game of the season. So much to build on from it and so much for us to take away from it. And then finally, uh, oh. Facing Asha kind of uh, first time, and what did you think about how your defense performed today? Yeah, I think, again, building off last season, like we want to be defensively solid. I think we had really good moments. I think they've dealt with her really well. I think it's a brilliant signing for this league. I think she's going to cause a lot of problems um, for a lot of defenders. But I think outside the goal, we defended her really, really well. We defended the space behind really well um, and didn't really cause us much problems, honestly. Um, but again, again, it's football. You give up one chance, you can lose the game. And I think that's what happened to us today. Hey, Becky, you said yeah. first 34 minutes for you guys really started playing. Why do you think that was? Um, yeah, I, th I think first game in the Bay's history, I think that probably played into we, th we thought they were going to come out at us, and they didn't. Um, and they actually sat off us, but we played like they came out at us. And I think that mentality was a little bit naive of me and a little bit, Something that I think, yeah, maybe maybe they didn't do what we thought they were going to do, right? And I think that took us about 34 minutes to figure it out. I also think when I look at us and, and what we've done in preseason, we didn't do that for the first 34 minutes. And it took us a while to settle into the game. And when you're in preseason, you work on yourself and you build on your identity. And when you're put in a situation that you're then now in this league, you don't know where you are. And I think we came out not knowing where we were going to be. And as we built into it, we saw how much more confident we got. And I think actually now I walk away feeling like, yeah, we, we can be really good. And then the second half um, with the subs, were you thinking timing there? Um, I think you brought Messiah on maybe in the 83rd minute and then Giselle in the 82nd. What were you thinking there with, with the subs? Yeah, there? I think it was it, you always want to look at the game. And we had so much momentum in the second half. And it's like, how do you disrupt that momentum when you think – it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So you have to find the right moments to not disrupt that momentum. I think when the subs come in, came in, they did a brilliant job of carrying on that momentum, but you never want to disrupt it. So you have to find the right moments. And yeah, I think there's always hindsight of, could you do it earlier? You can always look back and think you could do it earlier, but it wasn't like we weren't creating and we needed to change something. We were creating all 45 minutes of the second half. Um, and I think, again, you get into that. And we've been both sides of it. The, the game management piece, I think they, their game management was really smart. And that's what you do when you 1-0 up. Um, and it adds to frustration and it builds up. But we created enough chances to win the game. We created enough chances where we should win this game. Yeah. Hi, Coach. Hey. Uh, you know, starting Kennedy today, could you talk a little bit about kind of what she's brought in preseason, you know, everything leading up to this moment, and then why you were so, you know, confident starting her and then her performance as well tonight? Obviously. Yeah, I think Kennedy is a talent. I think you have to take age out and pick the best players in the moment. And she was ready. Um, she produces. She can play forwards. Um, she doesn't play like she's 17. She's not phased by anything. I think when you look at giving players debuts in this environment and this stadium, you have to think about is is it right for them and does it fit their personality and is it the right moment to introduce people in their professional debut? And when I look at Kennedy, I've spent the last couple of weeks getting to know her and knowing is this the right moment? And absolutely, it was the right moment. I think you can see how much of a talent she is and we're excited to have her here um, and continue to to develop her and push her. And, and, you know, she's a huge part of our team right now. Absolutely. And what do you see for her future? Obviously, she's still you know, so young, but put in a good performance tonight. Yeah, I think we have to manage her. Um, I think she is so young and we have to look after her. And she's still got a really high ceiling and room to grow. And um, we have to look after her. Like, it's one game. And this season, you know, is the NWSL. It's long. It's hard. It's not like there's off weeks. Um, she also plays f f uh, international football. And 
you know, we want to encourage that. I think that adds to your growth and we just have to manage her and, and how she's going to develop. And your first year as a pro is always hard. You learn a lot about yourself, but she's in a great place. Um, this team is brilliant with the younger players and they want to help them grow. And I think that she will continue to grow as it goes on. Any other? Yeah. Hi, Becky. You um, mentioned a frustration in not being able to score, but you had, I believe, 18 shots on goal, 41 touches inside. What do you think was missing to make those conversions? Um, I think there's a couple of things. Obviously, when you're at the bay and you're 1-0 up, you're going to put everybody behind the ball and just defend with your lives, and they did that, and they did it really well. Um, there's the being ruthless part. Um, it's, it's the most... NWSL football game I've seen, right? And, and again, it happens. And we knew if the longer the half went on, the harder it was going to be. But what we do have is belief all the time. And I think you could see that to the final whistle. And we have to remember this is game one. I think we all get caught up in acting like the first game is the be all or end all. But it's game one of a long, long season. And we have to use this game as a huge learning point um, and a huge momentum shift for us. We go in tomorrow, we work hard, we get on the plane to Orlando and, and we put in another shift on Friday. And can you talk about Angelina's effort? Yeah, again, um, so young, um, still growing, still developing, um, potential to be an unbelievable goalkeeper and we've just got to trust the process. And I think, again, calm, confident, ready for these moments. Um, and she's just going to keep growing as a player as, as she gets more experience and more games under her belt. And um, lastly, about what do you think about F uh, Bay FC's um, initial start into this league? Yeah, I think they've done a really great job of recruiting. I think they've brought some top talent to this league, um, which only adds to the quality and the strength of the league. Um, I think they have a clear identity and a style. I think they know how they want to play. I think today they came out and made it the occasion it was. Um, and, you know, I think... You have to say well done to them on this day, right? They came out with with three points, and um, I think it can only make this league again more competitive. You want these teams to come in and be competitive. We want our league to have fourteen teams that you don't know who's going to win. Obviously, you always want it to fall your side, um, but we want the NWSL to continue to be the mo the most competitive league in the world, and they've done that. Hi, coach. Uh, Sorry about the loss today. Uh, you mentioned earlier just about the defensive effort, particularly against uh, Ashwala. Can you just talk a bit about player of the match, uh, Sarah Gordon, and sort of her defensive effort and what that means to this team? Yeah, I think, you know, when you have a player like Sarah um, who is able to defend the space behind her, in front of her really well, um, it's really hard to break us down. And I think her partnership with Paige, I think we have such a competitive back line they're just going to drive and push each other forwards because they're competing every single week to make each other better. Um, and Sarah is a huge part of that. I think, you know, we've, we've added an extra responsibility to Sarah now being vice captain, and I think that will just elevate her. Um, that leadership piece, she's a winner. She wants to win every minute of every game. And again, I think her relationship with the backline goalkeepers is something that's really important and will help us to continue to grow. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, yeah, sorry about the loss, but seeing seeing Kennedy out there, you know, at 17 years old, kind of what has she brought to this team in training, you know, on and off the field, maturity, all of that, and then just seeing her out there, what she brought to the team as well. What do you think? She was she was great. I forget that she's so young because I think she fits in so well. She deserved that start. Um, she just is so so good for her age, and I think it's incredible to be on the field with such young players um, and just know how much opportunity lies in, ahead of her and how different her experience will be as a professional than, you know, we had when we started. And it makes me really, really proud. Um, and, you know, she came into a league where there are three teams in California and um, that's not something that I can say that I had. So I'm really, really proud of her. I know she's so close with her family and they're able to be at the game tonight. Um, and I just look forward to see her continue to develop. And uh, she was close to putting it in the back of the net. So we'll see that on Friday, I hope. <laughs> Absolutely. And then as captain, vice captain, what was your advice to her kind of entering such a huge moment at such a young age? Did you have any um, nice words, Sarah? <laughs> I mean, for me, I didn't necessarily give her any advice. I just wanted to make sure she was good before the game. But I'm so impressed by how composed she's been through it all. 
Um, like Ellie said, I would never guess she's 17 years old. So super impressed by her, super proud of her, and I'm excited to see where her career goes. Hey guys, tough loss today, but at the end of the match, last 15 minutes, it seems like you guys turned up the screws and were really executing in the, the final third. I think you had almost five shots on goal in the last eight minutes alone. Uh, are there positive takeaways going into the next game about how you guys were able to perform at the end of the game? Yeah, I think there were a lot of positive takeaways. I mean, it sucks to lose at your home opener. It's not how you want to start the season, but there were definitely a lot of positive takeaways. We felt like the second half, we had a, created a lot of good chances. We moved the ball well. Um, and ultimately, it didn't go our way today. Uh, this is the NWSL. You know, that's how it goes sometimes. But I think... We are proud of where we can take this season, and you know we have room to grow, of course, but there are a lot of positive takeaways from tonight. I also think that we did change some things and, and get a lot better after probably the first 35 minutes, um, and we did have chances, but I also have to shout out Sarah and Paige. I think you know Oshawala is, is a top, top nine in the world, and they really shut her down, and I think the goal we essentially gifted them you know is something that we know we have to be focused in our build out from goal kicks every single moment in the NWSL you have to be switched on but other than that I just think that you saw some really really top defensive skill tonight from our center backs. Ali Riley kind of took my question um <laughs> but I was going to speak to that Sarah obviously going against uh, Oshawala really big signing uh, cha two-time Champions League winner what was sort of your preparation for that and uh, what went into your performance tonight? I mean, um, we obviously do, I'm someone who really likes to watch film on players and know how they are. So going into a game of, uh, with someone that hasn't been in the league is a little bit more difficult. Um, but obviously film and scouting is a big part of it. But I think it was kind of nice going in with more question marks and not knowing what to expect because then you can kind of just get out of your frontal lobe, as I like to say, <laughs> and play the game. Um, but she's an incredible player. Um, it was really enjoyable to go against her tonight. Questions? Anybody else? Oh. Ali, I'm going to age myself um, here and ask you about uh, your FC Gold Pride coach. <laughs> so you're, aging, <laughs> you're aging me too, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> and just, you know, full, another full circle moment for you and for, for um, Antoya, and just ask about him and um, what he's like as a person and, and as a coach. Yeah, you know, I, I wanted to, to beat him and his team tonight more than anything, but now that the game is over and, and we can't go back, you know, I have to say how happy I am for, for him and his family, seeing his wife and his daughter. She was a small child when I got drafted to, to Gold Pride, and now she's at Stanford, and, you know, I, I love when good things happen to good people. Um, and... For him to have this moment tonight, you know, I wish it wasn't against us and, and here at home, but um, I think we want to have really good coaches and good people here in the NWSL, and he's, he's a really important addition, um, someone who understands the game, someone who has a daughter and has raised her to be, you know, in this game as well. So um, it was just, you know, during the game, I didn't think about him being the coach, but after seeing him and being drafted to that team so long ago and having an amazing rookie season and just being able to think out how, how much the league, obviously that league doesn't exist anymore, but how much the game has changed in this country since then. And it makes me so happy. And, you know, I think we still have such a long way to go in women's sports, but the only way we can keep going is if we celebrate the small wins and like to have this full circle moment, see how well he's done, remember the the FC Gold Pride, may she rest in peace. Um, it makes me really happy and really, really proud um, to still be playing and to, to witness the growth of the game. Awesome. Any more questions? Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.